Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I'll learn about tuples and then name tuples in Julia. So, what is a tuple? So, a tuple is a fixed length immutable container, right? So, it's a collection of immutable elements. So, that means that you cannot change tuples. And then a name tuple is, as the name goes, a name tuple. So, it's a subclass of tuples. It's a new feature in Julia 0.7 and then 1.0 apples. And now, let's see how to work with tuples. So, to create a tuple in Julia is quite simple. The first method is that it's supposed to be inside this particular bracket. So anything inside this particular bracket with one or more values is a tuple, right? So that is one way of creating a tuple. There's also a tuple function which you can use to create a tuple. So with, with this particular function, you can convert a, an array or a list into a tuple. So now let's see how to work with it. Okay, perfect. So let's give a simple example of odd numbers. I'm giving it my simple example of TP for my tuple, and then I'm going to pass it. A triple of all numbers one three five seven and then nine so this is having five elements perfect right so it's listing all of them to us so if i check for the type of this it's going to tell me that it is a tuple right so say it's a tuple of five elements and then it's all of them are integers so that is one way of creating it remember that tuples are immutable so i can assess it and find stuff in it but i cannot modify something from it so if i go with tp then i want to assess maybe the first value i go with one I want to print the first value for me. If I want to get the second value, I can just go with this and it's going to print it. Remember that Julia starts from 1 and then from 0, right? So it's printing from 1. So in case I want to change this particular to the second index to something different because it's immutable, I cannot change it. So TP, then 2. I'm setting this particular TP, right? To let's say a value of 30. It's going to give us an error. It's going to give us a method error. I go with this, it's going to give us a method error, so no method matching is here. so it's not possible, right? So we cannot use, we cannot change a tuple, it's immutable. Okay, that is one something nice about or something basic about all tuples in general. Okay, so one thing you should that in case I put only one value inside, it can it's not seeing it as a tuple. So if I give you a tp one, and I put only one value inside, let's say one, this is not a tuple, this is a string, this is a string or but a different type of the particular value, the dominant value there. So this is not a tuple. If I go with type of this, tp1, it is not a tuple. This is just an integer because we only have an integers. But to make this one a tuple, I have to bring comma. Right? So when I bring a comma, this is no more a tuple, an integer only, but it is now a tuple. So if I check for this type of this particular stuff, it is a tuple. So that is one thing you always should notice that the, if you want to. If you only have one element, you have to bring the comma to make it to make it sure that it's a tuple. Perfect. So that is some basic stuff about it. Now let's talk about name tuple. So what is a name tuple? So name tuple, as the name goes, is a subclass of a tuple that is usually bound to a particular name, right? So it's just operating like a key and a value. So it's just also immutable. So now let's see how to put a simple name tuple. So NTP for name tuple. And I'm going to give it my value. So the A is the name, right? And then the or the key, then this is going to be my value. So 100, then another one of B is going to be 200, and then C is going to be 300, and then D is going to be let's say 400, right? So this is a name tuple. So if I check for the type of this particular stuff, right, it is now a name tuple. So we are just giving us the value perfectly. So this is our values. But it is a name tuple. It is no more. It's a name tuple here. And you realize that this is having a symbol, right? In Julia, if you see the uh, semicolon refers to a number, it's a symbol. So these are symbols. That means that we can work with it in several ways. So you need to assess this particular stuff. You just have to go with NTP, the normal way, the normal method of index one, and it's going to give me that my first value because it is a tuple, right? Which is 100. That is one of the ways of working with it. I can also go with dot a so the reason i can do dot a that because it is a name to put so i can assess this particular value with a key or with a name dot a right that is one item about it and will give us 100 so that is the second method then the next method is that since this is a symbol right it's a symbol we can also use that particular format to assess it so ntp then into bracket a then it's going to give me my value as 100 perfect so these are the three basic methods so you can use a normal indexing so I use uh, the dot syntax for the name to post because of the dot, because of the name, or you can use a symbol because this is appearing on a symbol. Okay. Then again, you can also use a particular function. You realize that this place was set index. 
set index is used to change, right? You can't modify because it's immutable, but I can use get index in this particular stuff. So I can also use get index. Then I'm going to supply where, what, where I want to get my index from. So NTP. Then since this is a name tuple, I can use the normal index of one. So it's going to print 100 for me because that is the index I want, or I can make it two. It's going to print this 200 for me. Or I can also use the particular symbol, right? Or the key, which is going to be dash A, which is going to give us 100, or dash B, to be more precise. It's going to give us the 200, right? So these are the second method of working with it. So either you use the normal stuff or you go with this particular. Now this is operating like a, a dictionary, so you can also work, get the keys of it. So keys, and then NTP is going to list all the keys for us. Right? So these are symbols A, B, C, D. So with this we can use to do the dot sentence, right? The dot stuff to, to to be able to assess it. Again, you can also get the values with NTP and going to print all the values for us. So it's just operating like a format of a dictionary. Right? Okay, we'll learn about it later. Okay, so these are the basic ways you can also do this stuff about it. Okay, so in case you want to get all the values of it, you want to get an array of all the values or iterate through then you can just use the palette, then NTP, and it's going to print all these values for us. Only the values, not the keys, right? Only the values, but not the keys. But in case I want the values together with the keys, then I can just go with collect, then pairs, right? Pairs, then NTP. So it's going to iterate through it and then print values together with their keys or their symbols. So this is going to give us the symbol A, B, C, D, and then this value. So that is the second method. It's another way of finding or iterating through it. Okay. So there's another way of getting more information about this using the dump function. It can be used not only for tuples but for a lot of things in Julia. So NTP and then it's going to list it in my terminal for me. So you see that it's giving us the symbols, the type, and then the values perfectly. So this is the type and then the values. This is one way of work, also working with it. It's also another thing you can also do. You can also check for the pill, name, right? And then the particular stuff. So field name and then type of this NTP. It's going to also list all the values for us. So this is this particular stuff here is similar to the keys, right? It's almost similar to the keys. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Remember, this is still a tuple, right? So you cannot change this, it's still immutable. So if I do this NTP, into bracket uh, NTP dot, let's say B, I cannot change it to, let's say, 400. It's still going to give us an error because this is still a tuple. Okay, type name tuple is immutable. So you still can't change it because it's still a tuple, it's a subclass of tuple. So thank you for watching. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.